Hi, and welcome to Francia Talks. My name is Thomas, and in this episode, we will focus on the processing of the digital wheel detection signals as well as their possible utilization. In the previous episode, we already explored how the analog wheel sensor signal is converted into a digital signal by the evaluation board. Once the digital signal is available, it is vital to properly utilize this valuable information. For instance, the generated digital signal informs us that at this exact moment in time, there is an object, for example, a train wheel, on top of the wheel sensor. As we have two sensor systems available, it is even possible to differentiate whether the train wheel is on top of system one or system two. With this knowledge, not only is it possible to determine the presence of a wheel thanks to this system pulse, but by having a look at the sequence, this information also helps us to determine the direction of travel. If system one generates the digital signal first, the traversing happen from left to right. This is what we call direction one. On the other hand, if system two generates the digital signal first, this means the wheel runs in the opposite direction. We call this direction two. However, the system outputs are not only used for informing about the direction of travel. There are also multiple other uses of this data. For instance, the digital signals of the two sensor systems can also be used to count the number of wheels or axles passing the detection point. This is also the reason why a detection point is also called a counting head. Each time the evaluation board generates the two system impulses in exactly the same pattern, in combination with an axle counting system, the wheel detection point passes this information on to the axle counting unit, which is then able to count in or count out axles into a track section. A very important note here is that the digital signals of system one and system two must overlap. Only if this is the case, a full traversing of the wheel can be guaranteed and the signal can be considered countable. All the details about how this information is utilized, as well as additional information about the application of axle counting, can be found in the Francia Talk Season Train Detection Systems. To sum up, the information which can be gathered out of the digital signals of the system outputs is extremely valuable and forms the basis for many interesting applications. The upcoming episode will delve into the various outputs that can be derived from the sensor signal and explore their potential applications. Therefore, stay curious and see you in the next episode of Francia Talks.